This is a 1963 Ford F100. We're going to take it for a quick drive and I will show you around the truck. It's got a 302 automatic. Engine runs great, starts easily. Transmission shifts out nice and crisp. You may have a little bit of a shift kit in the transmission, I can't tell for sure. I think the uh, speedometer's working, but I think it's off by a little bit. I think we're doing about 50. And it's showing me doing about 40, so. This truck has had a, quite a few upgrades. It's got a rack and pinion steering. It's got a, a Buick steering column. Got a floor shifter with a hearse shifter with a lockout on it. It's actually got a kind of a mild exhaust and that's one thing I would definitely change. Wait till you see these pipes in the back are deceiving nice you know it's got these huge fat pipes in the back but it's really got kind of a quiet engine shut it off here it runs out awesome though nice rust free inner fender wells firewall so it's got a 302 I did not pull the numbers well I'm later model 302 rack and pinion steering power steering in the front it's got a Buick steering column in it I'm not crazy about that. It does have feel like it has a little bit of a limited steering capability. It's not steering as uh, probably as far as I'd like for it to. I think I'm not positive that looks like it could be a GM, um, a Chrysler um, radiator, but maybe not. Maybe that's a Ford radiator. But it runs nice and cool. Hadn't had it overheat or anything. It has been sitting a little bit, so. Uh, I hadn't had time to drive it recently. This is the first time I've driven it in a little while. So it needs to, needs to be gotten out and run down the road. But uh, got a great lowered stance, staggered wheels, nice fat wheels in the back. And uh, I think those are eight, uh, sevens in the front and I think uh, tens in the back. And they just look really, really sharp. This truck has just got the look. And I, like I said, those pipes are deceiving in the back. They're super fat. And if it was me, I'd swap this, uh, I'd swap this over to like a Flowmaster single pipe and just make this thing roar. I think it deserves that. It's just got that hot rod look to it. And I think it deserves a little bit more of a hot rod sound. I'll tell you what, this body is pretty freaking straight. Rust free. Nice, straight, all steel, no fiberglass replacements. Paint is very consistent from bumper to bumper. This is a really cool kind of a, you know, hot rod. Uh, maybe a shop truck, if you want to call it that. A couple of spots where the paint's peeled off. You can see the uh, primer underneath it. And actually, that just looks like where it just got scraped. That's not, that paint hasn't been peeled off. That looks like somebody backed into the garage and just, just scooted the, just scooted the garage door. Nice straight tailgate, couple little paint flex, paint spots there. Beautiful oak wood bed. Um, actually just got done cleaning it. And so you can see a little bit of discoloration. That's just from it's wet. This is a nice dry piece right there. And uh, nice, nice clean. And you can see they, uh, 
they uh, widen the fenders here just a little bit with and put that wood I just think that's a cool way to do it they did a good job whoever did that like I said nice straight body only spot I'm seeing on it is a tiny little rust bubble right here at the bottom of the of the driver's side door interior of the truck looks nice nice original uh, door panels clean rust free hinge pockets I mean this nice clean step ups very very minimal rust there's one rust spot and somebody put a saw blade there I think to cover up maybe the old uh, maybe there's a saw maybe there's a hole there or maybe there's an old um, master cylinder access I'm not exactly sure but I love the fact that the uh, get the dash is pretty much unmolested. I don't see, I see these uh, little holes here. I'm not exactly sure why those are there, but you know it's not all cut up and chopped up. Like I said, speedometer is hooked up. Um, I believe the temp gauge is hooked up. I don't think the fuel gauge is working. I do know that the lights work and everything. If it was me, I'd probably put a different steering wheel in. I'm not that crazy about that. Uh, but you do get tilt uh, you do get the tilt steering column which is nice that does work uh, turn signals I can't remember if the turn signals are working or not I don't believe they are that oil light idiot lights working which is nice one other thing I can't remember if the wipers are working yeah they sure are electric wipers are working great I know the lights all work Doors open and close real nice. I think the only thing electrically that's not working is the horn. Like I said, nice clean hinge pockets. And really the only rust that I'd seen on the truck, take, take a look at these step ups. I mean, this is a really clean truck. I did find a little bit of rust here on this side. You got some surface rust and a couple of tiny little holes there. That is the only spot that I saw rust on this truck. I guess maybe that I'd say worth mentioning. The brand new factory original style uh, floor mat that we just put in looks awesome. Um, this was uh, recently actually, this has got vinyl dye on it and looks awesome. Black, nice black vinyl seat. Does Could use a headliner if you wanted to finish off the interior. Got the original tank in the back. It's a nice comfy seat, sits kind of low. Windows roll up and down easily. This is a custom cab. It's got uh, older weather stripping around the glass, but all the glass is in good shape. The windows don't rattle when you ride down the road. And the weather stripping around the windshield appears to be newer. Now, same owner owned this truck since 1977. <clears throat> So here's your step ups. I'm in nice and clean. Look at these cab corners. Original cab corners, rust free. Solid frame rails. These are the original floor pans in great condition. Aside from that tiny little spot on the door. Check out these inner fender wells, man. These will look awesome. That little tiny spot on the door and that little tiny spot I just showed you on that passenger side um, um, floor pan. That's the only rust I see in this truck. Nope, here's, I just found another spot right there. A little spot of rust there. Hadn't seen that before. So can't say it's 100% rust free, but boy is it clean overall. These inner fender wells look amazing. Little spot of old rust there. Looks like it's been treated. Get down here for you on the ground. Show you these inner cab, inner cab corners. <clears throat> Appear to be original. Got some uh, flaking. Um, under original undercoating but that is not rust a little bit of surface rust of course every once in a while somebody wants to give me a hard time about saying rust free frame and 
they're talking about surface rust we call that superficial rust that's not something to be worried about forward rear end one thing i just really like appreciate about this truck and really like too is the fact that it's got the 302 it's got a c4 automatic transmission i just uh, i'm a little bit of a purist and i don't i don't mind i've got a 51 i'm waiting for the camera to adjust there there we go I've got a 51 Ford truck right now that's got a Chevrolet engine in it, and that happens a lot. Guys like to do that, but I just really appreciate when somebody puts the Ford engine and, or drivetrain back into a Ford and not put a Chevrolet into it. Man, this is a freaking killer looking truck. It's ready for the road. The only thing I personally would do to this truck, if it was me, is I'd put a radio in it. I'd probably hide it in the glove box. Other than that, I'd just drive this truck. I mean, it's ready to drive. It looks awesome. The lights work turn signals work it's got good rubber on the tires got the right stance man this is a killer hot rod